What's up guys, your boys here from Zay Toys. We're looking at May Fix number 53, the Dark Knight Trilogy, Batman version 3.0 action figure. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna jump right into articulation and some details about the figure. Um, but I just wanted to mention real quick is that this is a used figure I purchased on uh, on an auction site and it did come damaged. So the, the stand actually came broken. So I'm gonna have to use um, some Loctite super glue. This is actually very good um, to fix that and take care of that issue. All right, so now we're moving on to the figure. Another quick note I wanted to make. As I was taking him out of the box, I noticed that as I was moving him around a little bit, his, uh, his hip tightened up real quick and all of a sudden, and I could not, see, I can't really move it up and down right now. So, again, I don't know if this is just, you know, the figure that I just got and because it's used, but see, you can do this, but I cannot move him up and down or anything. I could do this, I can, so I can show you guys the... The swivel uh, that he has, the swivel capability in the leg, up on the on the thigh. He does not have the thigh swivel here like some uh, other figures do. Um, these are your typical Mafex, so it moves up here. Um, also, it is uh, double jointed at the knees. He has some some decent, you know, ankle pivot and also uh, toe hinge. Just move to this side because I'm concerned about this and I don't want to break it because I have broken other figures like that before. Okay, oh, there's really, I just broke one. But, um, you gotta be careful with that. So, he does have the drop-down hinge in the, in the, uh, in the, in the hip. Uh, as far as the, uh, the waist, this is what you're getting. He does have very decent waist, waist movement. The ab crunch, you're only gonna get ab crunch pretty much based on the hip. I'm sorry, uh, the waist and, um, the, the upper torso area here. Com combine both of them and this is pretty much as far as you're going to go so you're not going to get a lot going back it's actually fairly decent and it's only because of the movement you're getting here but as far as the, the the top is concerned you're not you're not really getting too much this is as much as you're getting now as far as the arms uh you have your your double jointed elbows and uh you have kind of your you do have the bicep swivel here and you kind of have that uh hidden butterfly joint there these these shoulder pads do come off. This actually came off on me earlier. I thought I broke it, but no, it does have look a little closer. Um, it has these little hinges there that you can put it on. So you could take these off and put them back on. You shouldn't have a problem. The head movement, this is what you're going to get as far as side to side. His head from my, my particular situation here with this figure is actually fairly loose. I don't know if this is a common thing for all of them, but that's how mine came. So side to side, you're going to get some decent movement because he does move at the neck as well. Um, looking down, because of the movement you have in the neck and here at the top where the peg is, this is as far as you're going to go down. But going up, you're not getting much too, not really getting any movement going up. This is, this is what you're getting. That's it. Okay, the cape is a it's a soft material. Um, it's kind of a feels like a little a little cheap, like like Halloween costume type material. Um, but it does have a wire. It's actually a fairly thin wire, uh, but you could get some decent stuff out of him. You can get some decent poses with the wire. Um, as you can see, you can move it move it over the cowl, and uh, let's say we'll do some crinkle it up a little bit. And you know you can get some decent cape action there. Okay, uh, just to mention real quickly, also the belt. The belt is is movable, so loose, kind of like a soft plastic. You know, maybe there's probably a possibility you can take this off and do some custom stuff to it if you really wanted to. But I, I and I wouldn't really play with it too much because you could damage it. But it does have a peg here on the side, so if you wanted to put some accessories on, you can latch it onto that onto that area of the belt. All right, so we're gonna move on to accessories. All right, we're gonna go over the accessories real quick. We're not gonna go crazy and take everything out of the box. It's pretty much self-explanatory as far as the hands are concerned. This is what you're getting. You're getting the fist. You're getting a couple of open palm hands, as well as the trigger finger. Uh, actually, the two sets of those. And also, there's a set of these hands here where it's, they're actually built, um, and it looks like they were actually made, uh, as a matter of fact, to hold these guys. And I'm gonna show you real quick. You can see the attention to detail that they put into um, molding these gloves and to match the uh, his suit. Um, very good, very well done. And um, as far as the guns and the weapons, pretty much the, the three sets of weapons there, three sets of guns. These guns don't have any moving parts, they're pretty much standard. Uh, and of course you got the, the three blades there. The, the heads, we'll take one out at a time so you can take a look at them real quick. 
you can see here you have the version where his eyes are open there and he's kind of has that frown um, of determination I guess you want to say if you look at it in this angle you can see the color of the eyes are they're white and um, you can see a little bit of the attention to detail on the sculpting here as well pretty good and this one here he has the he has the action face the pissed off face it looks like he's about to sneeze um, he does have a very very slight um, there is some white there but it's very slight uh, but uh, if you look at it in other, other angles the way the light hits it you know it just has the angry face thing going you can even get a little bit closer maybe you can see the teeth see the detail that they put they did not spare in the detail in the sculpting of, of the figure as far as the teeth and everything it's pretty cool Right, guys so here he is with just with a couple of the weapons and i also changed one of the hands so you kind of see what it looks like with uh, carrying these accessories it changes his head sculpt as well um you can see the handgun can actually go on the waist i'm gonna pull up here a little bit closer because you can see so that peg that was on his on his weight on the belt actually you can just take the gun and put it right on the belt and get this this is one of the uh, the trigger hands that he has and obviously the gun and the head sculpt that i just showed you guys so you have him uh, wearing some of the accessories. Now this uh, put do a little side by side with uh, with his counterpart from the Justice League. And here he is standing next to the Justice League Batman. Now even though these guys are both Mayfex figures, they have a lot of differences between the two, including cape to body sculpt and even with some of the articulation. Now I'm not going to go into detail with that because of the fact that this was not supposed to be a comparison video between these guys, but I just wanted to kind of give you a visual in case you were someone who already had another Batman lying around, for instance maybe a Justice League or, or maybe a previous version of the uh, 3.0. Uh, Dark Knight Rises. Now I don't have a previous version to compare to, but let's say if you didn't have one and you wanted to get one, then I would just say you know pick one up, uh, see see if you can find one on sale. Um, I found a used one, and uh, I'm kind of happy with my uh, with my purchase. I wish I was able to compare it with the previous version, but from what I understand, he's actually a lot better. So with that being said, I hope this video was able to help you out a little bit. If not, well, you can't please everyone. So don't forget to follow us on social media and subscribe later.